Welcome to Cloud Fundamentals for IT Professionals introduction videos. We're calling this Cloud Fundamentals for IT Professionals and then we're also tagging AZ900. So let me explain what this is about, who should be taking this course and how you should be finishing this course as a member. So let's get started. So the first question is who should be taking this course? This course is designed for someone who is already working in IT and now you are looking for transitioning into cloud positions like Azure administrator, systems administrator, but they usually call it a hybrid system administrator, or maybe uh, they're calling you anything inside Windows, but they're using uh, Azure uh, technologies and they could name it any title they would like. But the requirement that my assumption is that you already know the basics, which basically in our platform, you have already learned IT support skills and also you have learned the transitioning skills. What is transitioning skills? This is basically the core services skills where you know about DHCP, you know about networking, you know about how basically a network works from different angles. So this is the whole idea of the transitioning skills because then you will be able to understand this area which is called Azure administration. Now, now most of the time when people uh, give this job or people put it on Indeed, they usually assume that you already know about Windows uh, servers and you are pretty good at it because that's where uh, back in the days when there was no cloud administration, no Azure, uh, a lot of people were systems administrator, which they still are in a company. So you will be managing Active Directory, you will be managing servers, but then when Azure uh, cloud became pretty much like a, a thing now it is ha it has to be a company uh, somehow are connected to cloud these days almost 90% of them and they're moving very aggressively towards cloud so when you want to become this person a lot of people expect you to know all of this information ahead the misconception is that people uh, are setting this as a like you know you just uh, will become an Azure administrator if you pass AZ 900 and AZ 104 and then you'll just become a uh, the admin uh, like I tell people that in IT anything can happen and that that can happen people might have already done it uh, and they will probably come and say oh yeah I have done it but the problem with that is that whenever they're working in a company either they're working directly uh, in a company where nothing is touched like servers and you know the, the transitioning skills that I'm talking about the core level skills where they have to understand IP addresses and things like that, then yes, it, it, it will probably make sense. But in reality, is that really true? That's not true. Most of the companies are hybrid, which they're using servers, they're using transitioning skills like core level server skills, where they somehow need to know about networking and they work with other network engineers. So if there's a project to connect let's say something from an on-premises then they need to know about networking or they may have to do some security uh, things together to make sure the firewall and the Azure is working both together and if they don't have too much knowledge then they're stuck if they have to create IP addresses or different type of networks then they don't understand how IP addresses work and then they're stuck so this is why a lot of people won't hire people directly for these positions which is highly paid and advanced positions and that is something people need to understand that you really need to go through some sort of sequence to become a proper cloud administrator now again don't get me wrong this is just the way we do things we do it in process we we like to teach people the skills and then move them to the right positions but again anything can happen in IT don't don't uh, just go with my uh, you know experience or the way we do things you can you can do your own uh, planning for yourself if you feel like that is not something you want to do and you just want to go straight to uh, Azure administration then that's fine as well as long as you know the risk of doing this so we are here we are going to start learning about Azure administration so my assumption is that you know this you know this and you know about Windows servers uh, at the basic level all of this and now let's go ahead let's go back to the course and explain uh, what uh, this content is about and how you will complete everything in this area so in, in reality when you uh, want to become an Azure cloud administrator or Azure administrator or systems administrator hybrid they will call these names different type of names in their 
some people will say Windows Administrator, and they will specifically define Windows Azure in there, that that means that they are expecting some sort of Azure knowledge. So you can see what they uh, required and sometimes prefer. So in, in one case, they're saying that it is required to have Azure fundamentals, right? And then they have AZ-104, which is preferred. Now, if a job description says required or preferred, that doesn't mean you cannot apply to these positions if you do not have these certifications. You can have the skills and still apply for it. Once you go to the interview and they know you know these things, that's where the game will change. This is a lot of people that don't know because they don't have confidence. They have done paper certifications. They have not done a lot of hands-on. So a lot of people are not very confident to go and, and go after these jobs. But if you already have these skills, fundamentals and Azure administration, then at the rest of the things are just wish list from these companies. Even the three years experience is a wish list. But again, like I mentioned, a lot of people are a little strict in this area because they may expect you to know these things. Like, for example, look in this position as saying must have hands on experience on systems administration on Windows Server. And that is exactly what I was mentioning in this diagram that a lot of people expect you to know some of the basics from behind like the things that you have done before windows server administrations or transitioning skills knowing about the networking infrastructure this is what they mean by infrastructure that you should know something about this whole it you know you can't just jump to it so this is why why if you look at the salary range it's pretty high for these jobs even entry level are going to be very high uh, from you know normal uh, IT jobs. Uh, so now that we have cleared that what is expected, um, this is the first course that you need to be basically taking in JSS if you want to get that fundamentals down. Uh, like for example, in this job right here, when they say Azure fundamentals, then in our platform, Cloud Fundamentals for IT Professional AZ 900 is going to be the first course. This course is going to cover the fundamentals. This is going to be the mindset, the breakthrough in the cloud, trying to understand what is this about? What is cloud? As an IT professional, you already know the basics from other courses. So it's going to be easy for you to now understand what is cloud because you just have to learn what's new now. So now to get started in this uh, 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 roadmap, you have to go to the roadmap right here. Click on roadmaps. And then you're going to come down and basically it's going to say IT hybrid server administrator Azure cloud roadmap. So the reason we call it hybrid because uh, it's basically the, the, the common name that a lot of people are using it. Then we have on premises roadmap as well. So if you, have, if you have not covered those before, then the first recommendation is that you need to cover this IT administrator roadmap, which is the transitioning skills from uh, basic IT support jobs. You need to learn the core level skills then you learn the on-premises skills and then you should go for the uh, Azure Cloud Roadmap. That's where things are going to be complete then. If you just jump straight from IT support to this one, then it's not complete. You're going to have issues learning. So to get started, you need to click on Start Journey right here. And we're going to open the first uh, roadmap for this. So you can see the first uh, course in this roadmap is the same course that I just opened before. It says Cloud Fundamentals for IT Professional AZ-900. It has some information here. You're going to basically start this journey like that. You're going to click on it. And now you can see because I started that course already, so it updated my progress. But if you you probably will see zero percent when you click on this course right here, the title, it's going to take you directly to that course. Here you will see start course. So you're going to click on the start button and now you have started the course. Of course, if you're taking this course as a premium member, which is a recommended membership, you're going to have more hands on experience. If you have light membership, then you will have only video access in this course. Now, there are two things, uh, important things in this course. One is this, the course lessons. The course lessons are just basically for you to understand what is cloud. These are lectures. So there's going to be no labs in the beginning because the first thing you want to do is to kind of, uh, you know, take notes and understand why am I, what is cloud? Why am I taking uh, or learning about these services models? Try to understand that. So things are going to be a little boring in the beginning, but try to get that knowledge because again, you're working on something that is, you're not developing something new now. It is something that you will be using somebody else's uh, technology through a web browser. So you really can't do a lot. You have to really follow their directions. 
and what they're offering because it, this is not something that you have a server now where you have open access where you can do anything you like you just ha don't have that access you have a browser where you can go in and you can only do limited things whatever uh, microsoft providers or whatever whatever the lab systems provide us so in the fundamental our goal is not to make you a you know uh, someone who can just go and tackle this job right from the fundamentals this is something that we are just covering the required uh, skills that a lot of people are looking for and then the preferred one a company can teach you or you will be learning it from our courses even further ahead you're gonna get better at this but the first thing is fundamental so we want to cover that and the, to cover it you have to do it in, in lecture format first so you're gonna learn about the lectures and lessons and this is where you're going to basically start the AZ 900 training where it, at the end of this course you can also go for certification but again JSS is not focusing a lot on certification just to pass exams we want you to be skillful so you can go and, and go for these jobs and then tell them that you have already done something better than just passing an exam. So if you come to this chapter right here, the overview in chapter is going to be a partner content, which is very up to date content. You're going to finish these chapters right here and you can see there's a lab then. So once you finish these chapters, you're going to have a pretty good start. Even from course lessons, everything will be kind of like, you know, OK, I know this. But then when you go to a chapter, it's going to get even better. And then you basically perform the lab in this course, which is this one right here. Chapter one practice lab is going to tell you similar things that you have uh, covered in chapter. Not everything, but something to make sure you get started. So to click on the, the lab, you're basically going to click on the lab and here you see uh, launch premium labs and that's why I, I, I recommended that you should have premium lab because it will not be covered in any uh, sandbox type of access or if you have your own uh, cloud access or so like Azure subscription, then maybe you can replicate things. Now, one thing about these labs, again, these are labs uh, and whenever somebody is giving a Azure or Office 365 type of access, it's going to be very limited. Uh, the reason for that is that Microsoft does not allow things like, you know, operating system where you can download it and then you can do whatever you want to do. In this case, Microsoft will have a very limited access given to a platform where they will be just doing certain things and you cannot just go and start spinning up virtual machines, which is going to cost thousands of dollars. And that's something that is not a, not available to any platform at this point um, uh, and Microsoft uh, suggests that you should be basically getting your own subscription and a lot of people they when they teach cloud fundamentals or cloud skills they usually suggest people to get trial or maybe pay their own subscriptions to uh, uh, do whatever they want to do basically so if it's whatever you want to do you got to go for your subscriptions if you want to follow these labs these are going to be 40 mi 45 minutes you can uh, keep it uh, active as long as you want but once you move out of this lab it's going to go away but the best thing you can do is to follow these labs as a fun uh, fundamental skills you just want to focus on these um, you know exercises and do it in these systems if you have any is issues you are doing a step and it's not working then this is the support you can click on it and uh, contact the support please do not contact the JSS support right here this is not going to um, help uh, in this type of learning the, the lab has its own dedicated support right here so now when you are learning about cloud technologies like I mentioned before that you really have to invest your time uh, into learning what this is about right so when you do these labs and you come across something that is not well defined in the course and in the lab then you need to go back to the Microsoft documentation nobody can match with uh, Microsoft documentation the way it updates every almost every other day there's no platform that will be able to say that we are up to date with them so that is why I mentioned that you're going to do these labs but there will be something maybe updated on uh, outside so the best way to learn and the best way to become an IT professional is you still have to do documentation type of learning so if you learn something from these labs then maybe you should go and find online what microsoft is saying what microsoft have documentation on it and this is why uh, things are going to become more clear to you and at the end of the day if you get these type of jobs 90 percent of the time you're not going to come back to the lab you're going to actually go back to microsoft documentation and do the things from there whatever they have suggested because now it's all about them and their documentation when we work in cloud technology especially azure or office 365 you really have to uh, do this part and build that patience which you have learned from the IT support courses to read uh, everything in the documented format and then perform so once you do this you're gonna be pretty much ready for the documentation that Microsoft offer and then you can kind of follow their documentation
to finish this course, finish the course lessons, finish the chapters, the labs, and then submit the project for the certificate. And after this, you can continue with your roadmap to go to more advanced cloud courses that we have. Thank you.